everyone, Lisa Taylor here from Knowledge Smart. Today I just wanted to share an update with you regarding our new activity summary email development, which uh, will be going live over the next couple of days. So most of you have become familiar with the summary graphs that you see when you log into your admin dashboard here at the top. If you go over to the gear symbol on the right hand side, you will notice a new link here called Summary Emails. When that link is selected, a little pop-up window will be displayed and the first thing that you will be able to select is the email frequency of this activity summary email. So if you do not want to receive it at all, simply select this first option here, otherwise monthly, quarterly or biannually. Now I'm going to be talking a little bit about how to control which administrators uh, receive this activities um, summary email in just a moment. But if you wanted to deploy that email immediately to those administrator email accounts, you can simply click send now. You also have the ability to view this data instantly. So if you click view now, an HTML version of that email will open up in a new window for you. So let's run through the data that we cover in this activity summary report. At the top you will see your subscription plan and the number of active users and those are of course the number of users actively taking assessments on your admin dashboard. Below that, we give you a summary of your current account hierarchy. So the number of parent accounts, the number of sub accounts, the number of administrators and the number of sub admins. Next up, we run through the user profile. So how many users do you have in your admin dashboard? And of those users, what is the profile type. So how many employees versus interviewees versus contractors. Now you might say, hang on, I haven't seen this contractor profile type on my admin dashboard as yet. And the reason is because that is a new development that we will be introducing over the next couple of months. So for now, the contractor profile type will be zero, but when that um, user profile type is introduced into the admin dashboard, that will also be populated. Then we look at the number of invites sent over the last 30, 90 or 365 days. Below that we focus on the invite status over the last month. So how many invites are currently in a not started status versus an in progress status versus a completed status. We then give you some information about your most frequently used assessment this year. So here you will see the assessment title and then below that the average score, average elapsed time and number of completed assessments for that assessment title. Then we look at overall results summary over the last 365 days. So total number of assessments completed, what was your top training tag over this period? the number of interviewees that took assessments versus the number of employees that took uh, assessments. Next up, we look at the global benchmark data that Knowledge Smart publishes from time to time. So we've taken our most widely taken assessments and we give you an average global score across those four assessment titles and then below that an average elapsed time. If you want to learn more about the global benchmark statistics, you can click this yellow link down here, which will take you to our dedicated microsite. Now, we do appreciate that this data that we share in this activity summary email might spark a few questions. So you might want to go into things in a bit more detail. Here we've included a video which covers how to take your data, your Knowledge Smart Data Export, into the Power BI template that we make available for you.
This helps the data to become alive, it makes the data interactive, you can personalize and customize any of the visualizations that we've included in the, the template for you to narrow down that visualization report that best tells the data story that you want to tell. Then at the bottom you'll see our contact details, a few handy links and of course a summary of why you are receiving this email and how to edit your email preferences. So if we then go back to the admin dashboard, as I said I just want to show you how you can control which administrators will receive this activity summary email when you click send now or set that email frequency. So we are going to go over to the settings menu and submenu system email or system mail. Next to the administrator that wants to receive the admin summary mail, please make sure that this new checkbox here is ticked. If it is left unticked, that specific administrator will be excluded from receiving the admin summary mail. So make sure that if they want to receive it, you do select this checkbox here and click update to then record that change. Notice here, once again, if you wanted to add a person that perhaps is not an administrator or a sub-administrator, but they would like to receive the admin summary email, you could add them as an outside email recipient using this grey box here. So I hope you found this video interesting. We look forward to receiving your feedback on the new activity summary email and uh, look forward to chatting again soon.